authentication in ospf authentication in any routing protocol is very important especially when it comes to the uh, provider edge customer edge uh, you know environment pece situation authentication for routing protocol is very important we need to know that we are we are getting the routing updates from the right source also we need to have the guarantee that we are not giving our updates to someone we are giving to the right person only so authentication plays a vital role in it we know that rip version 2 supports both plain text as well as md5 authentication eigrp supports md5 authentication only means message digest and this one uh, ospf supports two type of authentication but but it looks like three type of authentication because that's how the the handler that is how the the type number goes we have something called type 0 type 1 type 3 sorry type 0 type 1 type 2 ospf authentications type 0 means no authentication null authentication type 0 so type 0 is also considered as an authentication only type 0 type 0 is no authentication and type 1 is clear text or plain text authentication without encryption type 2 is with md5 or uh, encryption crypto md5 authentication so type 0 type 1 type 2 three different types of uh, authentications we have in ospf and this type should match on both the side to form neighbor we cannot have one side no authentication and the other side clear text we cannot have type 1 on one side and type 2 on another side your password may be same but if type is not matching they can't form adjacency they don't match with the authentication type authentication string is not the only thing that uh, we should match we also need to match with the authentication type so to do this we are not really going to struggle as we used to struggle in eigrp in eigrp authentication we used to create keychain key ring key string send time receive time all the stuff those things are not needed in ospf we do everything under the interface so it makes our authentication configuration very easy than any other uh, igp protocols bgp has got most simplest way of configuring authentication when we go there we will see that the next uh, easy authentication supporting protocol is ospf easy configuration is ospf the easiest is bgp authentication fine now i have this topology already ready and ospf is already converged between these two router to prove that i am going to show pinging from r2 to r1 and r1 to r2 using loopback to loopback the ping happens what is next let's put the authentication if i put the authentication here i'm going to r1 to enable some debugs so that we can see why the neighbor fail why, why the neighbor will fail and when the neighbor comes up debug ip ospf adjacency now going to r2 under the interface f1 slash 0 i say ip authentication and i have mode sorry ip ospf authentication ip ospf authentication we have message digest or null if you don't say message digest if you don't say null which means clear text 
I have enabled authentication on this interface. We don't have authentication on the other side. Authentication type is type 1 now. On the other side is type 0. Let's see some... Uh, look at this. The neighbor has not gone down, but it's going to go down in some time because 40 second is the wait time. But every for every 10 second they send the hello packet. Okay, it has gone down now. Every 10 second they send the hello packet. The hello packet was telling us we are using type 0. What is the, what is V? Who is V? R1. R1 says we are using type 0 means no authentication. Whereas the input packet that is coming from 12.0.0.2 uh, is type 1. So we have mismatch authentication type. So we don't even have password. If the authentication type mismatch also the failure, the neighborship goes down. All right. So again, I'm going to turn on the debug and put the password also IP. Okay, we'll do one thing. We'll go and enable the same authentication on the other side. Password will come and do it later. Interface F1 slash 0, IP authentication, IP OSPF authentication, authentication, enter. So now I should not get the complaint saying we are using type 0, he's using type 1. Instead we should get uh, authentication failure. Okay, we have not given the password. So, if the authentication type matches, if the password is null, it goes with null also. Let's put the password on one side then. IP OSPF authentication key. IP OSPF authentication key and then give a password. The authentication key is, I'm going to say, Kalanji Oil, K-A-L-O-N-J-I-O-I-L, -L -I Kalanji Oil. Warning, the password, the key will be French to eight characters, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll remove. Authentication key is, key is only Kalanji. Kalanji. It's a very good oil that everyone should try. Google and try. Fine. This is a key and this key should match on both sides. Otherwise, I will again see some complaint on the debug. Let's see what has been shown there on the other side. Um, authentication key mismatch in the authentication key this time it is not authentication type it is authentication key mismatch it's clear text on both sides but the key itself is not matching here no key that say the key is given so i'm going to give you i am going to give key here ip authentication ip osp of authentication authentication so you should you know Put an iPhone after this, then you get the key. Don't give space there. If you give space after authentication, you won't get the option. But I'm going to give wrong key here. I'm going to give Safa. The other side is Kalanji. This side is Safa. Let's see what message he gives now. Mismatched authentication. Even now the same thing. So previously it was null. Now it has Safa. So it, there is no big difference actually. Null is also a string. Safa is also a string. So let's try to match now with K. 
A L O N G I L O N G we should see the neighbor coming up nice neighbors come up the ping should happen now like before it happens now I'm going to say the, uh, the MD5 authentication on one side I'm going to kind of change it from plain text I'm going to change it from text type 1 to type 2 now on only one side so let's do the debug on R2 this time debug IP OSPF adjacency and I'm going to R1 F1 slash 0 IP OSPF authentication I'll say message digest this is not plain text anymore it's message digest right already now I'm seeing on switch 2 that input is type 2 type 2 means what MD5 authentication type 1 is what clear text this mismatch happens so the neighbor is going to come down in another 20 seconds one more 10 seconds left 30 hellos have come 40th uh, second it should go down now yes yeah, see neighbor is expired neighbor is gone neighbor is gone no neighbor because of this authentication type mismatch let's put the authentication type same thing on the R2 router as well 1 slash 0 IP OSPF authentication hyphen no don't put hyphen that's for string authentication message digest now both the side it is going to match and the neighbor is going to come that's it neighbor has come sending the ngs key means you know refresh latest key after you change the authentication type it sends the key it sends that from now onwards this is the hash key before i was sending a clear text key i'm sending the latest key ngs key that's the meaning so neighbor has come up we'll stop the debug and we'll try pinging the ping should happen it's pinging that's all about OSPF authentication. Any question?